Hi, I'm Sam from the Furnace Building Society and I'm presenting a short video to explain to you the process of seeking a new mortgage. You may find this useful as it may be some time since you've moved home or changed your mortgage provider. There's been many changes introduced in 2014 which are likely to make an experience very different to last time. The first step is to work out how much you think you can afford for a mortgage. Then assess the equity that you have in your current home. In other words, the amount you think your home will sell for minus the amount of your current mortgage. Put the two together and add any other savings that you may have to put towards the property and this will show how much you're able to pay for the property. Working out what you can afford to borrow is tricky. The Furnace website has a guide to help you work out all of your outgoings and a calculator to work out approximately how much your mortgage will cost. A mortgage advisor will be able to help you with this. The amount that you're contributing or putting down towards your property is known as the deposit. Once you know the size of your deposit, you can then assess the mortgage products that may be suitable for you. Generally speaking, the larger the deposit, the lower rate of interest you will have to pay on your mortgage. There are hundreds of mortgages available on the market and most of them are classified as discounts, trackers or fixed rates. Nearly all lenders have a basic mortgage rate, sometimes known as a standard variable rate or the mortgage variable rate. Discount mortgages are those which provide a discount from the basic rate for a set period of time. If the basic rate changes up or down, your mortgage rate will change in line with it. A tracker mortgage is linked to an independent measure such as the Bank of England base rate and the rate will only change in line with the changes to the independent measure. This is also likely to be for a set period. A fixed rate does not change during the set period at all, even if other mortgage rates in the market go up or down. With this type of mortgage, the rate will not change during the set period. Normally, the mortgage rate reverts to the lender's basic rate at the end of the set period, and at that time, you're likely to be offered other competitive deals, or you can search for an alternative lender. There are two main methods when repaying your mortgage. Repayment or interest only. A repayment is when you pay back the interest plus the amount that you originally borrowed. This is known as the capital. Each month you pay more than just the interest cost. This extra amount reduces your overall mortgage size, so for each future payment, the proportion of interest will be a little bit less. And even more of what you pay goes towards reducing the overall borrowing. Eventually, over the lifetime of your mortgage, providing you make all the required monthly repayments, the whole of your mortgage will be repaid. The second option is interest only, where you just pay the interest and the amount that you owe never reduces. This is much less common and a mortgage lender will want to see a very clear plan of how you wish to repay your mortgage and how you're able to pay that back at some stage. An example would be for a buy to let, where you're able to repay what you owe when you sell the property. For most people, their home is the most expensive purchase they will ever make. And making sure you have a mortgage that will suit your circumstances is very important. Regulatory changes in the mortgage industry mean that lenders will now adopt a very different approach when providing mortgages. All the checks you remember from the last time you applied for a mortgage still apply, though you will find out now simply working out how much a lender will lend you is not just based on your level of earnings. A lender will want to know a lot more about your total financial commitments so they can be confident you can afford the mortgage. A lender will also take into account your likely future income and even changes that may, may take place in the market. For example, the Bank of England base rate, if they go up, they will still want to know that you can cope if things become more stretched. All this will take time and don't be surprised if your mortgage appointment takes up to two hours. Some lenders may offer to do this in two sessions, especially if you're applying over the telephone. Furnace offer mortgage interviews over the telephone through our contact centre, Furnace Direct, and also in all of our branches, because something so important, a lot of people do wish to make face to face. In the application process, we'll provide you with advice as to which product best ma matches your needs, and even provide you with details as to why you, we think a particular mortgage is more suitable for you. The mortgage underwriting team assesses all mortgage applications and the timescale for a decision will vary according to the personal circumstances. For example, we may ask for more information if you have missed bill payments in the past. Typically, it takes two to four weeks from application to a formal mortgage offer. 
If you're not moving home and just switching your mortgage provider, which is remortgaging, the process can be a lot quicker. If your application is accepted, we will either inspect your property or simply do a drive-by assessment. The whole process from application to completion can take just a few weeks. If you are moving home, then evaluation will be, will be required before an offer is made. From this point, the time scales to complete the purchase tend to be more in the hands of the solicitors and the chain of buyers and sellers that are looking to buy and sell at the same time as you. Most mortgages have fees and a mortgage advisor can help you determine whether a low rate but high fee mortgage is right for you. In addition to this, there are solicitor's fees, stamp duty for homes above 125000 removal costs and the cost of a survey to factor in. If you are selling, there are also estate agency fees. However, when remortgaging, some of these costs can be avoided. Again, a mortgage advisor can help you with this. The Furnace Building Society have mortgage advisors in all of our branches. Visit any one of them to find out more. Alternatively, you can call our Furnace Direct team on 0800 220568 or view our website.